All right. Well, good morning, everybody. My name is Paul Cohen, uh, Managing Director at Corexi. And uh, I'm really excited about uh, what we're going to talk to you um, today on the, uh, the new CCIM property listing service powered by Corexi. Uh, this has been uh, a while in the making. And before we get started, there's a few things I just wanted to cover before we uh, hand you over to the team to show you how you can get the most out of Corexi. Um, the first thing is uh, what is, most of you guys already know this, but there's some friends from Canada and some other places. Maybe you don't know what Crexy is, so maybe I should not even quickly mention that. Crexy is the uh, number one commercial real estate marketplace in the U.S. Uh, you can put all your listings up there as long as you're a licensed professional. You can put them for sale or for lease. You can do it absolutely free. And anybody that wants to search can come in and search all your, your, your listings, can reach out to you, do deals. Um, many people on this call, I'm seeing your names right now are making a lot of commissions by using this platform. So we're, we're a listing and marketing and data commercial real estate company. That's got that out of the way. So now you know. Um, next up is, you know, why did we do this partnership with CCIM? And it's a really good question. And I know a lot of you are thinking, you know, what, what, what's this all about? Well, um, the number one feedback we get from brokers, we have done for the last six, seven years, I was a broker for 30 years prior to joining Crexy. And it was just a frustration where you have to add your listings to like 10 different sites, keep them all updated. Um, brokers hate doing that. So um, since most of most brokers already have their listings up on Crexy, um, David Schnitzer actually was his idea, said, why don't we just give you guys all those listings? If you're a CCIM member paid up, um, your listings can go directly to the CCIM national site. Um, and that's what we did. So we worked on that. Um, it's been... Um, uh, you know, a little time in the making, but um, as of right now, if your listings are up on Crexy, they will feed to CCIM as long as you tag yourself as a CCIM member. And we're going to show you how to do that right now. Um, it's it's easy. It's free to put your listings up on Crexy. And um, if you, by the way, if you're an MLS member and you have your listings in your MLS, even easier. You add them to your MLS. The MLS feeds to Crexy, and then Crexy feeds to the CCIM site. So that's one site one login, one place to put your listings and all your listings are marketed throughout throughout the country. And I know a lot of brokers are using Crexy, a lot of the CCIMs are using Crexy and it, it's really working for you guys. You're selling deals, you're leasing properties. So uh, we figured that was just an easy thing to do. Um, if you don't, by the way, if you don't put your listings in the MLS uh, and you put them in Crexy, they do feed to RPR. So again, there's another reason to put your listings on Crexy because they will feed to, um, to RPR. Um, the other thing that we do is we offer a lot of data. Uh, we will continue to offer a lot of data to uh, CCIM members. We have comps. We have contact information for owners. Um, we have a lot of information that you guys can use to help your clients and uh, do more deals. And this is really just the beginning uh, of the partnership. This is um, the phase one, so to speak. Get your listings up there. Get you guys using it. And from there, who knows where we go? We can come up with ideas. If you have some great ideas on how you'd like to work with Crexy, feel free to uh, send them in to us. Um, so before I hand you over to the team, I just want to do a few thank yous. There's a lot of people at CCIM that made this possible. Uh, David Schnitzer, obviously, um, who really had the vision. Uh, Paul Rumler, who had the patience to, uh, to work through all the uh, different uh, paperwork and the legal stuff that we had to work through. Uh, Carl Andrenau, who got uh, involved every now and again just to push things along. And then, of course, Larry Guthrie, Gail Collins, and, and Danny, I don't know how to pronounce his last name because I didn't speak with him, but is it Lisanovic? Lys I don't know what it's better. Anyway, Danny was really uh, instrumental in that. All right. So um, again, I'll say it one more time. If you're just joining, if you have any questions, put them in the chat. There's a little chat box down there floating around somewhere and we'll get to those questions. And now I'm going to hand you over to Bita, um, who's head of our, uh, the senior director of our supply growth team who will introduce the team and show you how you can get started and get the most out of Craigsy. Vita, take it away. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Paul. Welcome, everyone. Happy Monday. We are going to introduce you to your property listing service today powered by Crexy. So as you heard, we have Paul Cohen here, who is your go-to CCIM uh, kind of relationship manager here. He's been with Crexy since the OG days and is a wealth of knowledge. So a great resource for us here at Crexy and obviously for you at CCIM. Uh, I am here on what's called our supply growth team 
We also have Nick and Skander here on my team who are part of the East and West Coast of Supply Growth Management. If you don't know if you fall on the East or West Coast, just reach out to any of us and we'll figure out who you need to get to. And at the end here, we have an exclusive discount available for you as a CCIM member. And Andrew here on our team will tell you a little bit more about PRO and how you can take advantage of that. In the meantime, we're going to go through how to set up this new profile for you, or if you have an existing Crexy account, how to go ahead and connect it to your CCIM portal. And then Skander on my team will go through how to add and manage those listings on the platform, which will show up on that listing property service available to you. And then, of course, our exclusive discount offer. And we have a Q&A at the end. Feel free to continue to go ahead and add those questions into the Q&A, and we will address anything that we can't do so in the chat on that Q&A at the end. So without any further ado, your new account setup. If you go to Crexy.com, you will see at the bottom, and Scanner will show us the screen share in a moment, a little logo here that you must be familiar with as a designee. And if you click that logo, if you don't already have a account with us here at Crexy, this is going to go to that familiar CCIM login portal as a designee. But if you already have a Crexy account, no worries. You're going to go into your account settings, which again, we'll see in a moment. And there you'll see under your name, you'll see the CCIM account. And if you click this connect button here, it will again take you to that familiar portal login. And this is actually the way and the reason we're starting with this is not only to get you started and set up, but to make sure that when you do have those listings, they do show up on the property listing service available on the, the portal for you. So you'll be able to network with the rest of your CCIM uh, kind of code designees here and also see what listings are available nationwide. So this is a pretty neat feature that we have available to you. We've been working with the team, as Paul has said, I mean, I think over a year at this point, so exciting to go ahead and launch the property listing service. With that, I am going to pass the baton over to Skander on our team. I think he's already gone ahead and there we go, doing the screen share to talk to you about the Crexy account itself. Yeah, thank you very much, Vita. Uh, thank you for everybody for attending. Uh, my name is Skander. I manage the West uh, team uh, here at the Supply Growth at Crexy. I uh, wanted to, first of all, uh, go ahead and show you how to log into your account or connect your uh, CCIM accounts live, as Vita just mentioned right now. Uh, I'll just hover real quick here on the sign up or login. Um, you will be able to see here on the bottom the CCIM logo. That's where you want to click in to be able to link it directly. Uh, for anybody that is already a Crexy user, uh, you can log into your account. So let me begin here. And you will be able to connect your CCIM account directly from your account settings. So once you click to account settings, right here, you'll see the mention CCIM account. All you need to do is click connect, and that will take you to the very familiar page uh, Beto was just talking about. Now, uh, that being said, I wanted to also uh, run you through how to add your listings to Crexy, how to contact your leads, and be able to uh, collect all of your leads, actually, that we send over to you. So uh, very simple, um, you can add unlimited listings into the Crexy marketplace. And maybe Bita, if you wanna go ahead back to the slides so we can talk about the free features. Sure thing. Awesome. So yeah, as I was saying, um, you have unlimited fee, uh, listings on Crexy. You can add as many as you want. One or a hundred is the same. Um, now, that being said, we're a little bit we're very different, actually, from uh, the traditional commercial real estate marketplaces uh, in the way we showcase your listings, not because they're free, that we're hiding it somewhere that no buyer is going to find them. Even on the free side, a lot of deals happen, and it's because of our AI and machine learning that we, we use. Uh, we don't hide listings at all. We actually favor uh, the demand experience here at Crexy so that AI and machine learning is going to put the best deals uh, in front of the best potential leads. Now, uh, that being said, you're not just limited to adding your listings and just a digital billboard. We have a lot more features uh, that you get on the free side, like email campaigns uh, that you can send and set, which will act as a MailChimp or constant contact for you at absolutely no cost. You'll get real uh, real time activity from anything happening on your listing, from a click to um, inquiry, all of that is completely transparent to you. 
Um, you can receive direct access to customer support. So support at Crexy.com will give you a list of all of those uh, great customer success emails that you can access, uh, access through Crexy, message leads, basic analytics, and using our marketing tools. So um, from here, uh, we'll jump into how to upload your listings. Basically, we have three very simple ways to add your listings on Crexy. The first one is going to be the more traditional build outs uh, that you're uh, used to. So you can add a listing onto Crexy, then you'll have the option to choose for sale for lease. Um, and I'll show you how, what that looks like in a second when I run, uh, run you through the website. Um, that is the first option. The second option would be actually to upload your listings through marketing brochures. So any marketing material you have, you can upload to the site. And in 24 to 48 hours, we will do all of the work for you. So that is a great option. You know, it's 2023 where it's a company. You shouldn't have to do everything manually yourselves. And we know we're very busy doing other stuff. So um, that is the second option. Now, the third option uh, that Paul mentioned in the beginning that we can use an MLS or any other website, Peter, if we can go to the next slide, I think uh, that should be there, is uh, what we call our listing sync service. Uh, this is a total free service as well. You would be able to link any website uh, that is hosting your listings, except for uh, any CoStar link websites, uh, answering your question in the beginning as well. So we can't get on any of those websites to pull information. But any other website you can link directly, including MLSs, uh, your company website, anything like that. And we will do a monthly cross-reference, meaning once a month, our team will go into your website, make sure that we're keeping everything up to date, uh, any new listings will be added, any older listings will be removed. So um, this is generally the preferred option as it's very low uh, listing maintenance uh, on your ends. So um, we can, I can go ahead and jump into my screen share real quick to show you what that looks like. Here you go. So this is the Crexy main page. However, on any page, you'll be on Crexy. On the top right, you'll always have this mention at listing. So very simple to find the button to access that uh, rather on the main page or anyone. So I'll just click on add listings, which will take me to this web page. I'll be able to choose between for sale and for lease, of course. Uh, let's do for sale just for the example. And this is pretty intuitive. Just go through the steps right here. Uh, adding anything with a red asterisk is needed. Um, the others are optional. However, I would recommend everybody to add as much information as possible here. Um, as we incentivize the listings with the most information, they'll have a higher search score, uh, which I'll touch to in a second, and um, will allow you to get ultimately more clicks. The higher you rank, the higher generally we get clicks. Um, so that would be the first traditional option, I want to say, where you can go through all the process. The second option on this page would be to upload property details. So right here, uh, clicking into it, just give us precision on for sale for lease. Uh, from there, just add your file. And you can give us any type of instruction here for our team to add. Like you wanna change the title different from the flyer we've uploaded. Uh, there's a slight change in price, whatever that could be, you can let us know here uh, and just submit it. That will take once again, 24 to 48 hours, depending on the amount of listings uh, you want us to upload for you. Now, uh, the third option is the listing sync. So uh, for that option, I would need to access my dashboard. So on the top right, you'll be able, once you're logged in, to see your name here, and uh, you'll be able to go to my listings. This is where you're going to spend most of your time from Crexy, uh, where you'll be able to see all your listings. So uh, you can toggle between for sale and for lease. Just make sure sometimes you log in here and think you have no listings. You just need to go to for lease or for sale space, depending on uh, what you specialize on. Now, right here, I can see all the listings. I can click on the top on sync listing from my website. As soon as you click on that, you would have the ability to add a website here. So um, I would try to make sure that the list, the, the, the site we're using is specific to you. Sometimes uh, some brokerages uh, have IDX feeds or MLS linked to them just to, be, to make sure that we're adding your specific listings. Uh, if you have any specific list, that'll be great. Um, and that's pretty much it. All you need to do is hit save, and then you will be enrolled into, into our listing sync. So once a month, this will be updated for you. All you need to do is unclick this if you would like to stop that service at, at any time. Now, uh, if we can go back to the slides, I can touch to the leads uh, access. Yeah, but if we're already here, I can actually go through it. Yeah, I think it's better to go through it live. I'm noticing a lot of questions. Um, 
that it might be better for us to, to do this live in the tool rather than going back and forth on the slides. For those of you asking, by the way, the slides and this recording will be going to the CCIM team for them to go ahead and send you um, all of the, the recording and, and content that we have today. Absolutely. Great, great. Well, yeah, we're already in here. So this is where you would access all your lists. Just as a reminder, hover on your name uh, on the top right and access the My Listing uh, tab. So from here, um, we can click into the listings specifically and see all of the activity we got. So it'll tell us the impression, how many times this page was viewed, the, the number of visitors, open OMs, executed, uh, executed TAs, and offers. So we have different level of interest, which you can filter right here. There's an activity history. This is kind of like um, your Facebook feed, I want to say, with all of your... Uh, uh, activity going on. I can filter here by the level of activity. If I want to only see who has uh, opened an OM, I can go ahead and click on that. It will move that to only those type of leads, right? And I can go ahead and click here on view all leads to have, um, which I prefer as a view. Um, and the reason why is you can see all the information in one place here on the lead. So this is going to look a little bit different for our free users. Uh, I do have phone numbers here in full name. Uh, this will be different for the free users who only have the first initial, uh, uh, sorry, first name and last initial, and uh, the contact information will be blurred, but you'll still be able to do everything else I'm going to touch on, uh, meaning rating your leads, uh, putting a statue on, statues on them, notes, uh, so on and so forth. And all of this can act as a soft CRM for you. So you can, you can go ahead and know all of your status on your leads just from one place. Um, and right here, while you're on there, uh, for any one of the leads, I can go ahead and, sorry, click on contact right here. You will be able to message them directly. You can add a flyer, OM, or any type of documents you want to this. So it's pretty simple and intuitive. Um, but if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the chat. I'll be more than happy to respond uh, at the end. Nice. Gander, thank you so much. I know actually you're right. We were going to go to Hotchkiss, but given the volume of questions we're getting in the chat, I'd like to actually jump into Crexy myself to just review a few things with folks. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. I'm going to kind of derail our plan a little bit here. Sorry, team. So for those of you asking about, you know, logging in, am I logging in using my Crexy account, using the CCIM user? So there are two different kind of paths here. One is if you are brand new to Crexy and you have your CCIM portal that you usually log into, when you go, and I'm going to click out of this, just Crexy.com, up here on the top right, sign up or log in. And under sign up, if you don't have an account, you have that nifty little CCIM logo here to go ahead and use. And if you click it, this will take you straight to your normal portal that you're familiar with, right? So you add, this is your CCIM um, you know, username and password. And then if I go back quickly to that login screen, for those of you that are already existing Crexy users, you're gonna go into login here. And if I go ahead and log in, up on the top right, I'm going to actually zoom in a little bit. So you'll see under your settings, when you, you hover over the little icon here, you have account settings. And this is where the CCIM account, you can still connect it after the fact, even if you, you know, are an existing pro uh, member, for those of you asking that in the chat here. So if you're an existing pro member, nothing changes for you. Everything in your account will still operate the same way. And Andrew here will go through what those features are and what those kind of differences may look like from a free to a pro account user. Having said that, for the purposes of today, to make sure you are ready to use that property listing service available to you as a CCIM member, once you click connect, that's going to take you right back into the very familiar, hopefully, login portal for your CCIM account. So again, if I click here, and this takes me to this website here, this is my CCIM username and password. And I, I could, I believe, Larry, I'm hoping this will work for us live right now. But if I go ahead and log in, 
that's going to take me into my CCIM account, right? So now you see, I've actually connected my Vita Crexi account to a CCIM account. Now, why is this important? When we actually go into the CCIM portal from here, this is where you'll actually now be able to have your listings available on the property listing service. So I did want to just kind of go through that quickly before we move into pro. And I'm going to hover over this slide while I just go through the chat very quickly just to make sure. If it does not recognize Eric Yu as a pro member, we can go ahead and at the end, we do have a slide with all sorts of links to our support center here. Many of our email addresses are on there. If you reach out to someone, we definitely will get that squared away for you today. So while we go through the rest of those chat questions, Andrew, I'd love for you to be able to just give us a little teaser. What exactly is this pro membership? We obviously have an exclusive discount for CCIM designees. For those of you that I'm sure are curious, you're already a pro member. First of all, thank you for that. Uh, and what does this mean for you? We will be addressing that at the end. We want to just first talk about what pro is for those that are not familiar with it. Totally. Thanks so much, Vita, and excited to share with everyone today more about the pro platform. Um, so again, free side of Crexy, free to list free for a buyer, end user, investor, tenant to still find your deal. With Crexy Pro, we have an exclusive discount with CCIM members that it really does five things for you. One, we're an unlimited listings platform. So one, five, or 10 deals, we're still going to market those and give it the pro attention. Two, we take more of a sniper rifle approach when we're marketing out your deals directly to buyers on the sales side and tenants on the leasing side. And instead of just getting the first name, last initial, you're going to get full contact information. We can send you live updates. They'll be sent via email once someone views or clicks your page. We can send you texts as well with their full contact info. And then really four and five are grouped together. You get access to our intelligence, comps, and data platform, which gets you full um, ownership entity info for parcels and comps across the country. For those in non-disclosure states, you'll still be able to get... Um, comps that are based off an estimated sales price. And the way we see people leverage that is getting full ownership contact info to try to pick up new listings. Vita, I'm happy to share my screen, but you kind of let me know um, where you want me to lead the convo from here, so. Yeah, given we are pretty good on the questions right now, let's go ahead and uh, do a live demo. And then if we have a few more questions around the property listing service, we'll go ahead and do that. I will say, you know, um, I did log into CCIM, but I actually didn't go to the, uh, the page itself. So I'm going to go ahead and show folks the live property listing service on the CCIM portal. Okay. So this is a very familiar page for everyone on the call here. As you scroll down, you'll be able to see properties that are for lease and then ones that are for sale separately. So once you're logged in, and this is, we've worked with the team at CCIM, this is everything we've gone through, a little video to show you about it as well. So once you actually click here, this is where your listings will be showing up once you've gone ahead and add them into Crexy, folks. So with that, Andrew, go ahead and take us through a little live demo. Sweet, I will share my screen. Do, do so I Vita, can everyone see my screen? Quick thumbs up. Awesome. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. So just quickly, I just brought on Sanford Sherman about two months ago on Decrexy Pro. The place you'll actually see the CCIM designation is right here in the bottom. So once you do tag uh the CCIM or connect that on your Crexy profile page, you'll be seeing that CCIM spot. Um, as I mentioned, being a totally open marketplace, open for brokers to list their deals. The first thing you get with the pro side of Crexy is that boost in placement. So push up to the top of the list. Second, we're tagging, following what these buyers, what these tenants are looking for. So once they run a search on Crexy, let's just say for multifamily, looking in the two to $4 million range, our product tags this buyer as looking for this type of deal. Let's say Sandy's got a property that fits what this person's looking for and they don't click on this deal. We're going to send his deal directly to that buyer in real time the next day to help drive activity back to the listing. 
Now, to give you a real-time look, similar to what Skander showed earlier, um, first thing you're going to see, activities through the roof. This pro broker received two offers on their deal through Crexy. And second, the reason we're seeing this type of activity from Crexy Pro is our monthly marketing campaigns. So being an unlimited listings platform, one, five, 10 deals, we're target marketing your deals directly to buyers and in turn, getting you their full contact info. So if I just click Tanya here, it's gonna show me full name, first name, last name, phone number, email, and then what their specific level of interest was on the property. For those that aren't as tech savvy, what we can do for you is uh, a part of the pro side, you do get a dedicated customer success manager. We can download a lead report, have this automatically sent to you on a daily or weekly basis, and it quickly looks just like this. Full export of every single person that's looked at your property. You can sort and filter by all people or just by principles. And the ways I use this as a broker is a quick call list uh, to reach out to anyone and everyone that's looked at my deal. Hopefully transact with that buyer, pick up some new listings, find some new people in the market that I can work with on the buyer's rep opportunity side. Just going to quickly check the chat, see if there's any questions. All right. Nothing in terms of the pro side. Yeah, There's you're good. You're good, Andrew. Cool. And then lastly, what I'll touch on um, is our comps and data piece. So as I mentioned, a part of the pro side, you get access to nationwide sales comps and parcel record info. So if I just open up one of these sales comps, we're a little bit different than the competition. We're pulling this from public record. Anytime a property trades hands, we're pulling that information into Crexy and then quickly scrolling down giving you closing details, the type of property, and then the big kicker is ownership contact info. So we work with the skip tracing company to go out, pierce the LLC, pierce the trust, pierce the incorporated to get your first name, last name, phone numbers, and then sometimes emails as well for you to go out for that broker that said they do buyer's rep opportunity, hopefully find an off-market opportunity for a buyer, or for those that are doing listing opportunities, hopefully pick up some new listings in the market as well. Yeah, and that's that's Stephen uh, Tavioni's question. He he does he's a buyer's broker. So how can he use the the property data to search? Maybe he does a lot of. I think Steve, you do a lot of land. So uh, how would he use that? Yeah, so I think on the land side, you can quickly come into the comp side, search for different types of property. Let's just say land in the market. See what's sold in the area. This way, you can find out who the active land buyers are in the market and also pick up that ownership contact info from there. Now, if you are a buyer's rep agent, one thing you can do on the open marketplace is actually create a shared folder for your client to send to them to say, hey, I've got these opportunities on the market for you. I'm going to star these that represent to like similar assets to what my buyer might be interested in. If as a Crexy member, you go to save properties here, you can create a tour book and we brand it to you. So we protect you as the buy side or um, tenant rep agent. So if you come into this portal that you created a tour book, quickly click this deal, it's gonna show you as the listing agent. So it protects you so your buyer or your tenant won't necessarily go around you in this deal. That buyer, if you add them into this, can create a thumbs up, thumbs down, add any comments. You do get notified via that. Or if you do have an older school buyer, you could print out this group and it creates a digital, or sorry, a PDF tour book of those properties we saved to this group. PC, what do you think? That's, I mean, it's amazing. Cool. It's just amazing. Yeah, no, it's good, it's good stuff. And then Greg has a question kind of related to that. Do we have cap rate and income information? Um, obviously, you're going to show Greg how you can look up that. So the, the data side of it, as Andrew's going to show you here, Greg, um, basically uses tax records and then broker information. This is where it's exciting for you CCIMs. If you add all your sale comps into Crexy and you can share them amongst yourselves within the CCIM organization, we use, we use the data from the tax records and then what you guys put in there. If it's a non-disclosure state, again, we're using the broker information. Cynthia just asked, how do you do that? And then we also estimate based upon recording fees um, to give a pretty good estimate. There, but the more brokers that use it, the more data we'll have that you guys can can use. We're a data sharing company, uh, and that's really what we're about. So, Andrew, why don't you show them the, the cap rates? 
Yeah. So in terms of the insights feature, one thing you can do on the active listings front, it can be active sale listings, active lease listings, or sales comps. A part of the pro side is click insights. So if we want to look at what retail has sold or what active retail deals are on the market, this updates in real time. I'm selfishly based in Los Angeles, so I'm looking in the LA market. As I zoom in or change my map view, this will update in real time. It will show you trending cap rates for active deals we have on the market. It'll show you the average asking price, square footage, and price per square foot as well. There's a couple other cool features you can leverage on the pro side in terms of traffic count or points of interest. If you've got a client looking to be close to a Starbucks, easy to type in points of interest, any interest you'd like to see airports in the area, which will be notated on the map. And again, this all updates in real time. As I zoom in or change my map view, these numbers will adjust to give you a real time view of what's going on. Paul? Great. Good. Yeah, good stuff. And um, anonymous attendee, um, or maybe it's senior anonymous attendee, does Crexy work for U.S. territories? I think Peter is about to answer that. But the answer is yes. We have comps and we have parcel maps if you want to click on it. Um, and again, if you want a demo of how you can look up who the ownership name is, uh, what comps you have in Puerto Rico, we can set you up with a, a personalized demo um, for you. And one but thing I will... Go ahead, Peter. I was going to say, we seem to be getting into a bit of a Q&A session here, and I want to be very mindful of not only everyone's time, I absolutely want to continue this, but I do also want to get to some of the support uh, features that we have available and really kind of wrapping up the, the CCIM property listing service piece. And then we'll stay on as long as we want to make sure to do a, a Q&A for everyone. Uh, I do want to make sure for those that were looking, you know, to get that information from um, you know, us here live, but also making sure if they need to learn more about their free account and or are interested in pro, I've gone ahead and made our poll live. So for those of you that want to hear more about pro, we will do so here on the webinar today, but we also will have some follow-ups for you afterwards, just in case we didn't get to it today, which it seemed like we had plenty of time. I'm surprised the hour with over 200 participants uh, allotted for this much time here. Having said that, I do want to jump straight back into um, two things before we dive into a full Q&A. And Andrew, I absolutely want to kind of pin what you're about to say, but we'll definitely get to that, is if I go back into my screen share here, when I was on that CCIM property listing service page, and I clicked on properties for sale and or lease. One thing to keep in mind for those of you with those existing Crexy accounts, and you may already have Pro, is if you don't go ahead into your profile and connect that account, your listings then won't actually show up on the, the you know, internal members only listing service that we have available, which is the whole purpose of today's call. So I did want to make sure that we called that out, that making sure to go ahead and link those accounts are important. And then if we jump back into our slides here, for those of you that do need a little bit more information or help, we have plenty of resources for you available. So Andrew and, and Paul and Nick and Scanner and myself will stay on for some of the Q&A later, but we do have intercom.help slash Crexy. We actually have a listing team, so listings at Crexy.com to help you with those brochures and the OMs and to get all of that squared away for you. Um, another thing to keep in mind is our support team is available Monday through Friday, 4 a.m. to 7 p.m. Pacific time. So uh, most of the times I know, Paul, it's, I, when I, I didn't realize we actually have, um, you know, support available for that long. And so the other cool thing to know about our support team is they get back to you within the hour. I don't think I've seen any of our you know, pretty normal questions take more than the 24 hours unless it, it's really something complicated that we need to support you with here. So all of that to say, I will be sending this in the chat, but I wanted to make sure we got that wrapped up with a little bit of a bow for you here. And then we're going to go full on into our Q&A section. Um, but all of that to say, I just wanted to thank you all so much for joining us. This has been a long time in the making, as Paul has shared. And so it's exciting to be able to uh, continue this relationship and to get more about Pro and any of the other features. So we're officially in Q&A mode. So Andrew, I apologize for, for interrupting you, but let's go full into that. And then whether we answer them live or type the, the answers now, for those of you that you know 
need to, to go on to the next thing. That is the, the full um, presentation today and we'll get some links to you and we'll start answering some questions. So Andrew, Andrew back to you. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the questions are on what the cost is for pro at the CCIM discount. We have the exclusive 35% discount for the pro side of Crexy that goes for our sales pro and all pro platform. For people that are looking for a similar website plugin for their own websites, we call that Crexy Fuse. We are offering um, an exclusive 35% discount on that, as well as waiving uh, the setup fee, if that's of interest, for the month of March. Please feel free to reach out to me directly. I'll put my email in the chat and cell phone. I'm around all the time. Um, so please feel free to reach out. Sweet. Um, I'm going to handle one of these. Uh, Jeff, this was asked quite a while ago. Jeffrey, uh, what do you offer to MLS services that would entice them to participate? That's a really good question. Um, so you've got you know a bunch of listings in your local MLS, and they're being seen by people within your area. What Crexy will do is take those, you can send those listings to us, and then we'll, we'll distribute them out. We have about 6 million people per month coming in looking at deals. So your listings will get more exposure, and it's free. And um, hopefully you will sell deals by just integrating through that. So that's that to me. If that's not a good enough incentive, I don't know what else we can do. Um, it's 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 pretty amazing. Um, so talk to your local MLS um, director if you are the local M MLS director. Give us a call and we'll figure out how to integrate. We integrate with about two hundred different MLSs right now. So uh, if we haven't done yours yet, then we'll get to it. Uh, the, the discount for pro again was 35%. There, there is no better discount than CCIM gets um, for, for pro and for our services. Um, so it is always going to be free for you guys to use, add your listings. But if you want that super marketing, and there, there's some people on this call that I know for a fact, because they tell me all the time that they make hundreds of thousands of dollars in commissions from Craigsy. And so signing up for pro is, um, is definitely a must. Um, one thing I'd like to show folks we didn't cover, this is kind of, um, I'd say fun, but pretty useful. Um, I don't know who, you, can I, should I just share my screen? I'll just do it. So th there's a broker directory in Crexy. Sorry, I wasn't ready to show you this. Um, but if you guys go to for sale, find a broker. And then what you can do is you can come in here and there's a little CCIM button right here. And if you click on that, and let's say you want to find a, uh, a CCIM in Orlando, obviously you have the CCIM directory, right? You can go in there and you can look up Orlando CCIMs, but what this will show you is who's selling what. So you can come in here and you can say, show me the Orlando CCIMs that specialize in retail. And it's gonna pull up all the retail um, CCIMs in Orlando. So now you can make a better decision on who you want to partner with. Uh, I see Cynthia's right there up the top. I figured that was going to be the case. All right, so, um, so, so do that. Now, just to give you a little insider tip here, to get moved up on the top, if you add all your listings, make sure you update all your comps, you're actively engaged in Crexy, uh, you will show up higher in this directory. It's just, it's organic. We don't, there's no, you can't pay for this. You can't pay for placement. You just have to be using Craxy. So hopefully that's a good little tip for, for a lot of you guys. Uh, any other questions you want to get answered there? I know that there was a question around the CCIM and NAR discount. Uh, yeah, the, the, so Ruben, that's the same, it's the same discount. If you're a non-member, you're a CCM discount. Um, Carolyn, Caroline, um, I would say probably yes. However, there is a caveat there because I don't know what your specific deal is. If you have an office of say 10 or 20 people and you call up Andrew and you say, hey, we want to get pro for all 20, you might get a better deal. So maybe if you've got an office and you are maybe a two or three of folks in the office are on pro, um, maybe call Andrew and find out if you could get a better deal by doing a bulk discount, 10, 15, 20 people. Um, and so Hazel, yeah. Well, so Hazel, I remember meeting you in Pittsburgh, but um, I already paying for two. Can I still those? 
Yeah, I mean, you're getting all, you're getting all the features. We, we try to keep stuff simple on Crexy. We don't have different plans here and this plan and days of the week and all that kind of nonsense. You get pro, you sign up, you get every benefit that Crexy has to offer. Um, and so, and I, you, as I recall, you, you do have the, um, the CCIM discount because you signed up at the CCIM conference, as I recall. Uh, Andrew, do you want to handle any of the other questions? So I know that the one with the address, when there isn't a listing with an address, typically if you have a cross street, if there isn't necessarily, I know for land that happens sometimes, um, Nick or Skinner, if you've seen something different, I've seen people add cross street information as well. Yeah, um, Cross Street, TBD, this location in this city. Um, there's definitely some workarounds. There just needs to be something in the text box in particular, but we could typically come up with something that would uh, help out with that. It, it might be harder to find, uh, but if you have the longs and lats as well, you have the option to add the, that information for, I mean, this is generally for a big land, et cetera, that doesn't have a real physical address, but yeah, if you have the longs and lats, that could work as well. Yeah, and you know, at the end of the day, you know, we want to make sure that people can find the property. We don't, we don't like blind listings up on Craxy. So if it's a situation where you've got a, a a hotel, for example, and the owner doesn't want people to know exactly that what the hotel is, um, there's a couple of things that we can do. We have a thing called private label where you can market it um, discreetly to a list of people, and then um, people get people to sign a confidentiality agreement. Or the supply team can help you with the, the cross streets, as, as mentioned, we get something fairly close. Uh, but we try to avoid people not putting addresses in, if, if at all possible. Andrew, how does Carolyn contact you about pricing? I'm messaging her right now with my email. So, Carolyn, feel free to reach out what, directly. Yeah, why don't you put it in the chat, too? So anyone who wants to reach out to you directly about that, you can do Um, All right. Go ahead, Paul. No, I was going to say, I think I think we're kind of coming up on, on time. Um, we'll, we're going to do some more of these webinars, um, maybe focus, we'll get some um, guest CCIMs on the call, and they can show you how they're using it, and drill right down in how you can use Crexy to actually make some money. This, is, this call here was to get you up and running, make sure you're linked, uh, make sure you're using it, make sure your listings are up there. And then we'll, we'll we'll have a few more webinars on that. Absolutely. So, folks, um, I know there. I didn't realize there would be this much interest in in pro today. Definitely excited to hear that. Our main goal today was to introduce you to your property listing service that is on the CCIM portal, available to members only. Letting you know how you can go ahead and add those listings onto the new CCIM property listing service. Uh, and then, of course, there's this exclusive offer that we have available to you. The the pricing. We didn't want to get into too much detail on that, again, given we were focusing on the free account available to everyone. Wanted to make sure folks who are interested in that had a little bit of time there. Uh, but if you did answer the interest in pro on our poll, that is where we're going to work with the um, folks over at TCIM to get you a follow-up webinar. So as Paul mentioned, we actually have a lot of additional information where we wanted to get those Crexy power users that are currently uh, CCIM designees also in with you. But today was kind of focused on what's the general way that I set up my profile? How do I get those listings up and get some of those leads that are available to me on the free side also? So more to come soon. We'll keep this, um, this Zoom open for a few more questions that I see open on the chat. And then we'll go ahead and get that recording and the slides over to you. And then Paul, I'm sure if you have any kind of closing remarks, we can do that. Yeah, well, there's a couple of questions I just noticed there. Um, I need to learn where the CCIM listings are in the Correxi platform. So this is kind of the crux of this call. So I really wanna make sure this is clear. All your listings, every listing, not just CCIMs are all in Correxi. When you search, it's the marketplace where everything is. If you are a CCIM member, designee, and you link your account 
in Crexie, your listings will flow to the CCIM site. And I put that in the chat, um, which I'll do again now. It's, um, I forget what it is. It's like property, uh, what is it called? It's property or something. Property um, search. Yeah, it's, it's ccim.com backslash property search. So if you go there, you have to log in. It's not open to the general public. It's only for CCIMs. You can go in there and then you'll be able to see your listings uh, on the site and then other CCIMs will be able to see them too. So hopefully that's, that's clear. I just sent that over in the chat as well. Great. And Cynthia, when you said there were pro questions, can you resend that? Because I, uh, I believe Paul and Andrew had addressed that. The polls. Ah, got it. Okay, we'll we'll make sure that Andrew goes ahead and reaches out to you directly. Yeah. Um, great. Well, look, this was a uh, a great call. Really enjoyed seeing some old friends or knowing that some old friends were on the call at least. And uh, I'm excited about what we're doing with the CCIM. So CCIM is by far the number one commercial real estate organization. Every CCIM is the best in the business. And so our job at Crexy is to help you guys um, do more deals, help your clients, um, get good information. And this is, this is just the beginning for our partnership with CCIM. We'll see you at all the conferences. If you're a pro member and you just have questions about how to use the, the, the product more, that's what we're all about. Uh, reach out to us. Um, you could shoot an email to Crexy and we'll jump, somebody at Crexy will jump on a, a webinar or demo and show you, your office, exactly how to use it. There's, I'm thinking of doing like a top 10 tips you can do on Crexy because every time I talk to brokers that are using Crexy and they tell me, I love Crexy, Crexy is amazing. I sold this property and that and then I ask them about are oh, you using comps and they, they don't they haven't really started using it. So there's a lot more information we need to share with you guys and uh, make sure you're using it. So with that, um, I, I want to thank uh, the team here at Crexy, um, Andrew, Skanda, Nick, and of course, Peter, who's been working um, very hard to, to get this rolled out. Um, thanks for all your efforts, guys. Thanks to everyone on the call. And unless anybody wants to say anything for the benefit of the group, I'm going to close it down right now. I think we're all good. We're going to go ahead and end this and uh, we'll definitely get you the information for future webinars. Jack, we're working with the CCIM team, so you'll be getting that information in your newsletters. We have a whole host of follow-up emails coming your way as well. Thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful week ahead. See you later.